exception to the law of demand. The first one being conspicuous goods or the prestigious good effect. This pattern is normally seen exhibited by the rich or the affluent class of consumers. Say during a new iPhone series release, when the price of the phone is at its peak, these consumers tend to buy the product. They are willing to pay this high price more so for its prestigious value. Other examples of products having such similar patterns could be diamonds, expensive cars, etc. Next, Giffen Goods, found by Sir Robert Giffen. Giffen Goods is one of those products from the economic class where the demand for the product rises when the price of the product also rises. This goes against the law of demand. When a Giffen good is involved, downward demand curve becomes an upward curve. A product can become a Giffen good only when certain conditions are met. What are these conditions? First, the product must be a staple product such as a food that has limited number of substitutions available. For example, cheap rice doesn't have that many substitutions in its price range. Second, the consumers must be poor enough that they can't afford to substitute the staple product for a higher quality product. This means that poor customers have to choose the staple product. An old example is of the famous Irish potato famine of the 1800s. The two conditions for the Giffen goods were met. First, there weren't many substitutes for cheap potatoes. Second, the people didn't have enough money to purchase more expensive items. So, as the price of potatoes went up, the poor didn't have money to purchase other expensive things like meat, so they had to purchase more of potatoes and hence the demand for potato increases. This reversed the law of demand. The third is the future expectations of price rise. If a household expects the price of a commodity to increase, it may start purchasing greater amount of the commodity even at increased prices, thus reversing the law of demand. Fourth, the demand for necessities. The law of demand does not apply much in the case of necessities of life. Irrespective of price changes, people have to consume the minimum quantity of the necessary commodities. The law of demand will also fail if there is any significant change in other factors on which the demand of a commodity depends. If there is a change in the income of the household or in the price of related commodities or in the tastes and the fashions etc., the inverse demand and the price relation may not hold good. Thank you.